Welcome to Exploring the Mystical Side of Life with your host, Linda Lang. Hi, this is Linda Lang from ThoughtChange.com. We are exploring the mystical side of life once again today. I have a beautiful guest to share with you today, James Kialii Piilani Kawai Nui. You know, James, as you're talking, I mean, it just triggered a memory in me of something that's actually really pertinent. I've been married for a crazy amount of years, like 40 years. It's ridiculous. Good for you. But my mother-in-law was a real challenging relationship for me for the whole time she was alive. And she came to me in a dream a few years after she passed, and she offered to help me. And I didn't say anything in the dream, but I took a step back. And she said, oh, you're not ready. I became lucid. She left, right? And I'm like, wait, come back. Because like, I have such a narrow perspective here in my human experience. One of the things is, you know, we're not willing to receive. And in that moment, even my unconscious mind was not willing to let go of the past and accept her guidance. Yeah, you know, acceptance and forgiveness is a really big piece. And we could spend a lot of time on that, you know, in that acceptance and forgiveness, then can we be able to see the people that we may have conflict with in a different light? Because we are, in some ways, judging them for where they are inside of their lives, not, not maybe not understanding the perspective or how they got to that point. And, and maybe not being able to see the soul that exists inside of that, that is that light that you're talking about that came back to see, to see you, right? I remember a teacher saying to me, can you love the serial murderer the same way you love the Dalai Lama? And I thought at the time that she was insane. And yet, can we see the soul that's behind whatever the human is doing in that moment? and see the beauty of that and realize that that soul has a purpose. That soul has a journey. I'm not to be the judge of the journey of that soul. And that acceptance that we were talking about and that receiving really starts from self-acceptance. I hope you enjoyed this little snippet of my conversation with James. You'll find more Walking with the Ancestors here on this channel and Remember to subscribe.